You know, I believe that how we educate our young and how we care for our aged and infirm are the real benchmarks of a great society. And if you look at the life and legacy of Mark Kajilski, you can see his commitment to both. He is super intelligent. He has a stupendous memory. He's very, very focused on what needs to be done. He is a very considerate person, and he has a real easy smile. So the things that I've kind of picked up from my father and really tried to emulate are, again, to always show kindness to others. His whole life has been set up to help, especially when they're a stranger. Always take the time and have the patience to listen and engage. And when people need your help, that uh, oftentimes the best thing you can do is just to be there for them. This is a man who lives out the ideals of a Jesuit education and lives out his faith in word and in deed. Mark is a very, very generous person. And that really has come out over the years. Many times have I seen his generosity. He's been offering legal assistance to veterans uh, on a pro bono basis. Due to Mark's good work, these veterans have received back pay and more importantly, full disability benefits and healthcare benefits for the rest of their lives. For these veterans, it's truly life-changing. In 2020, Mark was awarded the Pro Bono Service Award by the Inner City Law Center in recognition of the work that he and his team have done for veterans. Mark's approach to the practice of law is different because he not only wants our clients to succeed, but he also wants his colleagues to succeed. He's a great mentor, a great man for others. He's always thinking about how to assist others on the team. The way he recognizes and celebrates jobs well done, the respect he has for others, especially younger lawyers, his work as a mentor, he's just a joy to have at the firm. Mark is, is obviously an outstanding lawyer, but I can't think of a better example of being a man for others than the work Mark has done on behalf of veterans in Los Angeles. He is making a positive effect on a broader group of people and on systemic issues. So the plural others is really the emphasis that I say that Mark is having. Just his ongoing continued generosity and dedication to the Ignatian way and the Ignatian mission. I think that's probably the most important thing. It's that level of generosity. It's that level of Cora Personalis, to quote a Jesuit word, that epitomizes why Mark Kajilski is such a distinguished alumnus. Being a person for others is critically important in this society. Learning how not only to think about what you can do in the environment, but also how you can take care of other people by being there to meet their needs and to be of service to them. Well, St. Ignatius was an important part of my personal foundation. It gave me the underpinnings of a great education so that I could go on and achieve what I've achieved. And I cannot be appreciative enough and show enough gratitude to St. Ignatius because it has been the foundation of who I am today.